1952, primatologists were studying a troop of macaque monkeys. To gain their trust, scientists dropped sweet potatoes onto the sand. The monkeys loved the food, but not the gritty sand. A young, innovative monkey, let's call her Imo, figured out she could wash the potatoes in a nearby stream, making them clean and delicious. She taught this trick to her mother and her playmates. Gradually, over several years, more and more monkeys in the troop adopted the behaviour. It was a classic case of learned behaviour, passed through observation. But then, something extraordinary was reported. The story goes that once a critical number of monkeys, let's say the 100th monkey, learned the behaviour, something clicked. Suddenly, almost every monkey in the troop was washing their potatoes. But the real shockwave was this. Colonies of monkeys on other islands, with no physical contact, spontaneously started washing their sweet potatoes at the same time. The researcher, Lyle Watson, popularised this idea in his 1979 book, Life Tide. He suggested that when a certain critical mass achieves a new awareness or behaviour, this new awareness can be communicated directly from mind to mind through what we might call a collective consciousness or a morphogenetic field. The hundredth monkey wasn't just a number, it was a tipping point.